In this video we're going to demonstrate how Hawk Seal Millings Blend for asphalt millings, our newest product, can make a very economical, smooth and durable asphalt millings road. Recycled millings has become popular as an economical alternative to hot mix and concrete. However, getting a smooth, non-erodible, non-raveling and non-tracking surface has been a challenge. You want to start out with good quality millings as preferred to old dried out or coarsely ground millings. An advantage of millings is that small projects don't require large equipment. These millings were placed and treated with Hoxial blend to create a smooth durable surface that will not crack with small equipment that most everybody has access to. We recommend four to five inches of recycled milling spread over a good solid road with a well drained base. You want to keep the water away from it. Millings can be compacted with a steel or rubber tired roller or heavy rubber tired vehicle with smooth tires. Smooth rollers provide a smoother surface and a better finished look, something that will be beneficial in residential areas. A disadvantage of raw millings is they tend to ravel. The fines tend to track into areas where they're not wanted and also are subject to erosion. It's nothing more frustrating than having them track into your garage or your shop or your office. Property owners have tried everything from applying waste oil, diesel fuel, and even burning the millings to get a durable hard surface with varying results. Incorporating Hawk Seal Millings Blend rejuvenates and softens the asphalt in the millings. The added coal palmers and binder help create a smoother and a more durable surface that sticks together and stands up to cold weather, hot weather, and traffic. Hawk Seal Millings Blend is non-hazardous, it's safe for the environment, it contains a proprietary blend of acids, coal palmers, and binders that rejuvenate the asphalt and rebinds the aggregate in the millings. Incorporating Hawk Seal Millings will create a tight, durable, waterproof surface that will be very durable and last a long time. Our project for this video demo is a quarter mile of private drive and development in northern Iowa. We recommend a base of compacted 2 inch rock approximately 3 to 4 inches thick prior to laying the millings for new construction. Millings can also be laid directly over an existing roadway if it's a solid good base. We placed 4 inches of 2 inch rock for the road base to be compacted prior to laying the millings in this photo. Roadways with soft spots or potholes should be repaired prior to compacting and placing the rock. Millings can be spread directly from dump trucks for larger projects. In this case we're doing about a quarter mile road. We have to take about four and a half, five loads. We recommend four to five inches of millings spread over a good solid base. We use a pulverizer for leveling the millings prior to incorporating the Hawk Seal blend. We recommend a gallon of Hawk Seal solution be incorporated into the top three inches of the millings for maximum strength and durability. Various equipment can be used to level and incorporate the millings. And various pieces of equipment can be used to incorporate the millings blend into the asphalt millings. You can use a field cultivator or disc or a heavy harrow, maybe weight it down. Uh, we like to use our pulverizer, it does a great job. Uh, previously laid milling should be reworked to incorporate the hawk seal uh, into the top three inches if you can again, and then have it recompacted to create a durable smooth surface. Hawk seal products do not require high tech equipment. Tanks can be mounted on trucks and trailers and sprinkle cans can be used for small projects. But the key is to saturate it and uh, let it uh, soften the asphalt and so forth before you roll it and compact it. Here's the first pass uh, with our Hawk seal blend. Uh, it will take about half the rate or half a gallon per square yard in that first pass. Right, we're shooting for a total application of a gallon per square yard. 
uh, and we try to put it on over three passes to get maximum saturation and incorporation and to kind of slurry it up. Oxyl blend is a forgiving product to use. When we mix it, uh, <clears throat> it the solution can be uh, diluted plus or minus about two or three percent and won't hurt it if you need to stretch it to get your project done. Also, the millings will tend to take as much as they need. Uh, in some areas, you maybe need to go over it a couple times extra if it's extremely dry millings compared to maybe the next load. Uh, but the key is to saturate it and get it slurried up so that it can start to set up uh, kind of like concrete. And uh, you may have to wait an hour, hour and a half uh, for it to solidify enough to get on there with a the roller so that you're not running and rippling your surface. Uh, so you want to allow sufficient time for the treated millings to begin to soften and rejuvenate the asphalt as well uh, before you start compacting. So uh, it's a forgiving product to use and once you get it down uh, it turns out pretty nice. Uh, again you want to allow uh, time for the millings to set up enough that you can get on there with your roller or whatever you're going to use to compact it to prevent running and rippling. Uh, rubber tired vehicles can be used for compacting if a roller is not available or a, or a smooth surface is not that important to you. However, uh, a roller would do a much better job if you're living in a residential area, make your neighbors happier. Uh, and then you can also alternate the patterns during compaction to avoid uh, over compaction, which will start causing ripples as well. So in between your rolling, you want to give it some time to set up. Um, we try to leave maybe 15, 20 minutes in between maybe our three passes initially, and then we'll come back and we'll re-roll it later again, even the next day. You'll notice a cushion feel as you walk on the freshly compacted millings, like you're walking on carpet. Uh, this cushion feeling will disappear as the millings start to cure and harden into a durable surface in about 10 to 14 days. Uh, light traffic, you can get on there within a few hours after compaction. Uh, won't hurt it, but stay away from heavy, aggressive ag tires and heavy trucks and so forth. And don't park on it until they've fully cured in, uh, say, 12 to 21 days, depending on the temperature. Here you can see where we parked our truck overnight. This is about the third or fourth day. Uh, it left a divot in the pavement that. Uh, but you notice that it holds water, so the Oxyl, as it tightens and bonds and puts everything together, it makes it waterproof, durable surface. Uh, this is the completed, uh, fo uh, the completed road. Uh, our roads will stand up to cold weather. Uh, we've got them in Montana and in Arkansas, so uh, hot or cold weather won't hurt it. Um, and they'll stay uh, in in good shape and will require very little repair. Uh, once again, if you need to get a hold of us uh, or you want more information on our other products, you can go to our website at hawkseal.com. You can email us at hawkseal.gmail. And of course, uh, we're trying to put together a Facebook page as well. So with that, thanks for watching. And we hope that we've helped you in uh, deciding how you to proceed. And uh, feel free to contact us for a free quote and uh, we'd be happy to walk you through the process. So have a great day. Thanks again.